All right, hello YouTube. Um, today I'll be doing a quick tutorial just on how to import um your meshes in one go to Roblox Studio. It's pretty simple. So let's get started. Um, here I have a model. It is you see, it's a lot of individual meshes, parts, objects, whatever you want to call it. Um, all you have to do is make sure, of course, everything is under 10k. Since these are individual, they have their own count. Um, let's see, roughly 2k, so it's fine. If everything is under 10k, you want to select everything. So you can press B and drag. You can just select, um, just press the A key, whatever you want. I always scale down to make sure I'm not excluding anything. You can deselect the light. Okay, once you have everything selected, you want to um, do CTRLA, Control A, and then click location. Down here, this will pop up. Click this. This will be checked. You just want to check rotation and scale, and then file, export, and then FBX. We'll just name this Rena. Um, actually. I just name it video test for now. Over here, you do selected objects, and then if let's say if you're doing a you're doing mesh clothing for R15 dummy or something, you should do 0 0.01. But for me, I'm not doing that, so that's just to make sure the scale is correct. You have everything here. You don't need to touch anything else besides select objects, honestly. You want to export FBX. All right, Blender part is done. We move to Studio. Um, you're going to need a new base plate or your old base plate. I'm just doing a new one to show you guys. You want to select Publish. This would be over here. Every new base plate will have this. You just want to name it. Test uh, ta, 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 and then create. Let that load. It is say you successfully published it, and then this will pop up. This is your game explorer. Um, super helpful. You want to select import. Wherever you save the um FBX file, you want to go there. This is my file here. So video test. You want to open. This will pop up your options. I like to uncheck the first one. Second one can stay checked. And then apply all. Alright, so here we have importing zero of 24 files. It's a total of 24 um, meshes or objects. So, And it's saying error. And sometimes it does this. So we're going to cancel this import. And then get rid of these. And then let's try and just to make sure I uh, export it again. Yes. Export. All right, let's do this again. Apply all. And let's see. There we go. So sometimes you just have to re import. Alright, so it'll be checking all these one by one just to see if it's over 10k triangles. Um, if you know if it is over 10k, it won't export since that is a triangle limit. And as you see, as they get checked off, they pop up here. So we're at 14 out of 24. It's almost done. And I open the workspace folder. Okay. So three more files. Alright. So everything is imported, it's completed. What you want to do is if you don't already have this done, you want to drop down this mesh folder 
it'll pop up the mesh um multiple meshes because that is what you import it export it you just want to hold the left click button and drag down highlight everything right click it and then insert with location and then just let it load there we go let's see so it's pretty large right now I have to scale this down and if everything went correctly basically everything that was in the blender file should be in here okay so we got the head and we got the body and that's pretty much it from there you know you can customize it but this is an easy way to just export how it is in blender and also to do it one at a time not one at a time but as one because normally I believe about a year ago you would have to name each mess separately under a file and it took forever but this is a super helpful feature um basically the end of the video if you liked it comment <laughs> leave a comment like the video subscribe share and i'll see you guys later